Hey, what's up, citizens? This is President Chelly with another Oris Battle Spot episode for all of you. So today I am bringing a Mega Tyranitar with Dragon Dance, very offensive one. Um, I've actually done the calculations, and after D Dan, um, T Tower can outspeed most things. It's pretty good. Um, let's see, Trevenant Harvest Citrus Berry, uh, Magnazone Choice Specs. Um, with, uh, let's see, what, what is it, Magnet Hold uh, as its ability, so I can trap, you know, Scizors or Ferrothorns or Skarmories or whatever else, do an HP fire right to their face, and BAM. Of course, for Skarmory, you'd want to go for Thunderbolt. Anyways, um, I'm also bringing a Rhyperior, a pretty unique one. Um, it's holding Weakness Policy, <laughs> uh, and it also has Rock Polish and running moves like um, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Megahorn. Yeah, I'm. I want to see how this thing does. Um, its ability is Solid Rock, which reduces the power of super effective moves by 25%. Uh, it still probably won't be able to survive a water move and a grass move, especially if they're on the special side. But if I can switch into like a fighting move or fighting, yeah, fighting, fighting, um, and an ice move, yeah, then it will do a lot of good. Let's see, I'm bringing in Assault Vest Gudra, uh, running moves like Dragon Pulse, um, Sludge, yeah, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, and uh, Thunderbolt, and a Choice Scarfed uh, Starmie, so I can outspeed any any uh, setup threat and hit him with a pretty decent move like Hydro Pump, Psy Shock, um, Thunderbolt, or Ice Beam. So let us get things started. Okay, uh, yes, actually, Battle Spot uh, rating, yeah, rating Battle Spot was um, updated recently, and actually, my score has reset, so I'm back to 1500. Alright, so my opponent is bringing a Dragonite, uh, Greninja, Zapdos, Chandler, uh, Blaziken, and a Ferrothorn. So, Electric resist Electric. Um, and I'd be able to hold in the Ferrothorn, so... Magnazone would probably be a good choice. So again, uh, Zapdos is usually run Heat Wave. i say I can almost assuredly expect that Blaziken. So... Hmm. Let's see, then there's Dragon Knight. Let's see, to take care of the Dragonite, I definitely want to bring my Starmie. It would also really help uh, with the Blaziken and the Zapdos, so Starmie is a must. Let's see, Blaziken, um... I could send in my Rhyperior first, um... You know, fake, um... You know, basically, uh, bait the Fighting-type move. Uh, and then get the weakness policy off with a rock polish. Um, let's see, earthquake. Yeah, without well, be able to take it out. Um, yeah, Magnazone's zone's gonna help a lot too. I mean, uh, the Greninja might be running uh, low kick, but that's. Hmm. I don't see uh, much use for Trevenant. All right, so I think I'm gonna start out with Rhyperior because I'm predicting the Blaze can lead. Let's see, Magnazone is going to be incredibly helpful here. And then Starmie? Uh, yeah. On second thought, I think I should have brought my Tyranitar, but... Well, it's too late now! Let's see, yes, unfortunately, lighting issues makes, um... Makes using my camera somewhat problematic, but it is the best I can do at the moment. So I was correct on the blaze can lead. My opponent can't go for um, fighting type moves. I mean, can't go for fire type moves because I quad resist it. So yeah, my opponent has to high jump kick me, which I will live. But of course, there's a speed boost. Right, my opponent will go up one stage, I'll go up two. <sighs> mm, this is problematic, this is really problematic. Of course, I could... I could also just EQ. I could do that. Okay, should I go for the Rock Polish, or should I EQ? 
I think if I rock polish, I, I'm still not gonna outspeed because Blaziken's gonna be boosted. So I have to hope for a high jump kick and then I can Earthquake. Okay, yes, I think that is the best bet. Okay, Mega Blaziken, uh, that's no problem. <laughs> come on, come on, fighting, fighting, fighting type move. Come on, do it, yes, yes. Okay, it connects, that does a lot of damage. Does not kill. I get the weakness policy. <laughs> and EQ, bye bye. Uh, it's moments like these I live for. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to set up, so I'm easily gonna get outspeeded and just destroyed. But that's okay. Okay, there's a Greninja. Yeah, sure, sure, you can take me out. That's okay. Um, I will then have a Choice Scarf Starmie with a Thunderbolt with your name on it. Uh, and hopefully you go for the water type move just just because. Let's see. Well, depending on uh, what you protein yourself into, I'll have to decide whether I want to bring in Magnezone or Starmie. So yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll just go for another EQ. Okay, you're proteining yourself into a dark type move. That's that, that that's respectable. I have to admit. <coughs> okay, so unfortunately, this does mean uh, my Starmie. Well, I'll be able to outspeed, uh, potentially get a Hydro Pump off. It'll do neutral damage. That should kill you. But then again, um, I do kind of want to save the Starmie, just in case the last Pokemon is really threatening. Like, I don't know if it's a Dragonite. Yeah, I'll, okay, then I'll survive um, the Greninja move. Uh, get a, like a super effective Thunderbolt off on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Magnezone because I don't think you can Oko it. Maybe if you're running low kick, maybe. Of course, I could also just Volt... No, 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 don't, don't Volt Switch. Just, just, just T-Bolt. Just T-Bolt. There's the low kick. I, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I do... Okay, that is an Oko. Okay, good to know. Yeah, there was a reason. <laughs> there was a reason that Greninja was moved to Uber. But this is actually pretty good for me. Because what I can do now... So I gotta be careful here. I gotta be really careful. Because I just remembered. Um, if my opponent thinks I'm running Psy Shock. Oh crap. Oh crud. Um, if my opponent happens to switch out into something else, he can then come back in the with the Greninja and I can't do anything. And yeah, predicting a Psychic type, me using a Psychic type move is a very, very real possibility. Okay, so, um... Ugh, crud, 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 crud. Ugh. There's also Pokemon like Ferrothorn out there. Yeah, I should've just switched into Starmie. That's simple as that. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna go for a Stab Hydro Pump. Uh, this should take you out. Unfortunately, my opponent did decide to stay in, so a size shock would have been ideal. It was the Dragonite. Okay. Uh, that is going to resist my Hydro Pump uh, and just set up all over my face. So, yeah, it's, it's probably over now, but hey, it was a good match. Especially after getting a weakness policy. A weakness policy right here. Oh, that, that was just that was just amazing. Oh my goodness, that does so little. 
It <laughs> does so little. I wonder if um, an Ice Beam would have taken Greninja out. You know, but then again, my opponent could have brought the Ferrothorn. Uh, you know, then Ice Beam wouldn't have wouldn't have done diddly squat to it. Well, then again, none of my moves would have done diddly squat to Fer Ferrothorn. So, anyways, whatever, whatever. Yeah, my opponent had the offensive power. Like, oh my, yeah, yeah, that was just pure, pure power there. Okay, so even with Solid Rock, a um, a high jump kick from a Mega Blaziken is going to do a huge amount to a Rhyperior. Okay, um, hmm. I, I think I might have clicked um, not to battle again, so... ruh -roh. Okay, searching for the next one. Yeah, I have to remember, I need to keep up the offensive presence myself. Yeah, so um, I should definitely try to bring in my Tyranitar. Okay, so my opponent is bringing a camera up for Celia Ferrothorn. Um... Superior, potentially contrary, Azumarill, and Zagalchomp. Hmm. I would love to bring my Magnazone, but there is so much stuff that threatens uh, threatens me, like the Garchomp and the Camera, which are almost certainly going to be pack in the ground type moves. Then again, I could use that as an opportunity um, to lure them into the ground type move, hit the Rhyperior, and then set off weakness policy again. <laughs> okay, okay, anyways, um. My Choice Scarf Starmie will be perfect uh, for taking care of the potentially Choice Scarf Garchomp. So I think I want to bring that. Magnezone does take care of quite a few things. Okay, um... Oh, what's my opponent probably going to start off with? Um, I think the Garchomp. Alright, let's say that. Uh, then I need a decent defensive Mon to switch into. So maybe I want to bring uh, Gudra? Uh, I d yeah, I don't think I'm packing the Flamethrower on it, though, so that's not going to help. Uh, definitely T-Tar. And Rhyperior. Because, because again, I want to lure them um, into using the ground-type moves. Like, a, a, one of my Pokémon probably have to be sacked if, you know, the camera or the guard shop come out. You know, but then I can surprise them. Oh, hey, weakness policy, Rhyperior. Okay, so, perfect. Okay, so I, so my opponent's first Pokemon is a superior. I don't think I have to think too much about this and I will just go for the Ice Beam. Okay, smart. Yeah, smart play on my opponent's part. Yeah, def definitely want to switch that out because I'm sure that's a contrary superior. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna do diddly squat. Honestly, that did a bit more than I expected. Ugh, crud. Okay, so, um. No, 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 no. Um, not do. I cannot do Rhyperior shenanigans here. Well, poo. Right, I think the most, um useless Pokemon right now is Rhyperior because my opponent brought an Azumarill and a Superior 
which uh, does quad effective, you know, quad super effective damage against Rhyperior. So, yeah, what I need to do is I need to switch out. And um, then go back into Starmie and do a Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just Earthquake. Just AQ it. Oh, come on. What are you waiting for? You knew I sent this just to sack it off. Come on. Come on. Just go for your Aqua Jet. You know you want to. Oh. I got you might have a flying type. No superior. Hmm. That was a Yeah, that was a weird decision. Hmm. Of course I know what you're doing. Yeah, you want yeah, you wanted to switch out and then oh, oh I see you big dog, I see you. That's right, that's right. Get your uh, contrary leaf storm up. Hmm. Okay, yeah, my opponent is doing very good here. And of course I realized too late. <laughs> Way too late. That, um, my whole opponent's team, uh, I mean, my whole team, the whole, um, team Pokemon I brought is weak to grass. Oh, what? That doesn't kill? Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't think you were going to set up a Reflect. That was a very interesting choice, I have to admit. All right, luckily, uh, because my opponent is at this point, I will be able to send out the Starmie and do a Thunderbolt, which will kill the Superior or the Azumarill Switch-In. All right, there's the Leaf Storm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, contrary Superior. It's, it's legal now. It is indeed legal. All right, so let me send in the Starmie. Right, and of course, I will Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm. All right, mm, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to win this? Just maybe? Because, uh, yeah, I took the Superior out, which uh, was the most threatening thing to my team. Again, yeah, what the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> Freaking three Pokemon that are all weak to grass. Unfortunately, it is the case that uh, when I do get on camera, I don't think as well. All right, there is Guard Shop. Oh... Well, that, that, my friend, is a dirty trick. Yes, my opponent did indeed bring a Garchomp. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm pretty much doomed. Unless I make... A pro play prediction here. Well, no, I can't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. My last, yeah, my last Pokemon. Yeah, I. No. Now, will this instantly, um, instantly bot me? I'm kind of interested. Rock Tomb. Guess my opponent didn't know the last Pokemon I was gonna bring out. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so what will hurt you the most? Okay, but uh, because you're running Rock Tomb, I know you're not a Scarf Chomp. Let's see. Uh, minus one speed, so I'm uh, down 33%. If I do a Dragon Dance, will I outspeed? Of course, the better question is, will I survive an EQ? I have to assume I will. Because that's the only way I can win. If I then Dragon Dance, then get an attack off, uh, now Garchomp's just way too bulky. Of course, my opponent might be predicting I, um... I'll, I'll just D-Dance. My opponent might predict I have Dragon Tail. And they do. Excellent. Okay, yeah, my opponent predicts I have Dragon Tail, so you switch into the Azumarill, potentially avoiding... Potentially avoiding the, the Dragon Tail, but no, nope, not in this case. Okay. Now, an Aqua Jet will still do a heck of a lot to me. And I really don't have a lot um, that will deal a lot of damage to this Azumarill. Now, uh, real quick, i it's something I forget all the time. Uh, does water resist rock? I know it doesn't resist ground. No, no, rock does neutral damage. Okay, so a stone edge is my best bet. A stab stone edge. And of course it's avoided. <laughs> Double avoided, yes! Yeah, my opponent wanted to go for max damage there. That is, that's respectable. I'm right, gonna go for another Stone Edge. It does connect. <gasps> it's a crit! Yes! Yes! Okay, I just won. I just won. Because my opponent was over predicting me. Actually, I also just realized... <laughs> yes. Alright. Mega Tyranitar does... Um, uh, does take one EQ from Garchomp, so that's pretty cool. Alright, but I'm still slower than it, so th that's unfortunate. Maybe it is Choice Scarfed. If it is Choice Scarf, then uh, my Starmie can come in, Ice Beam, you, you know, we're done. If it's if it's Focus Sash, though, which it might just be. But regardless, I have to let it play out. I just gotta let, just gotta let the dice roll. But yes, my opponent was just over-predicting. Uh, they didn't know what I brought, that I was being incredibly stupid and bringing three Pokemon weak to grass. It is Scarf! I mean, I'm, it is Sash, so yeah, I'm dead. Rock Tomb. No, I still win. Yeah, I still win. I, I, I don't know why he didn't go for the EQ. I, yeah, I, I guess I would have survived. Yeah, my opponent made uh, some misplays there. I mean, so did I. But hey, I did come out on top, so... I'm sure that crit mattered on the Azumarill, especially because uh, Reflect was up. But hey, I'm not complaining. That that was an amazing match. Love it. Yeah, my opponent was trying to be greedy, go for, um, you know, switch out into Superior. Yes, I would like to continue battling. Um, you know, try to get a contrary Leaf Storm up, and then set up a Reflect. Um, <laughs> just, you know, whatever, whatever. I will take it. Yes, yes, I would like the challenge. That would be nice. Okay, now the results of uh, your battles are uploaded instantaneously. Usually you would have to, like, do another match and then wait uh, in order for your... You, you know, aggregated results to show up. 
But no, not in this case. So, anyways, I have, uh, my opponent has a Salamence, Ferrothorn, Rotom Wash, Sylveon, Machamp, potentially Choice Scarf, Dynamic Punch, Shenanigans, um, and Camera. Okay, my Trevenant is going to come in incredibly useful here. I need the Trevenant. In fact, I want to I think I want to set that up first because you know, it's yes, yeah, to my advantage to set that up. Um let's see camera up Machamp. Well, there's there's going to be dynamic punch certainly. Um, maybe EQ on the Salamence, that would activate Weakness Policy on Rhyperior. But then again, you have Rotom Wash, which, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with that. Um, let's see, yeah, Starmie is going to come in incredibly useful, too, uh, potentially outspeeding the Salamence and the Machamp. And so will my T-Tar. Um, do I want to open up with T-Tar first? No, I think I want to open up with Trevenant. Because I can now uh, Will-O-Wisp a whole bunch of things on that team. Definitely going to bring Starmie. And you know what? Yeah, Magnezone. Because Magnezone, um... I can do a super effective hit on the Sylveon. Um, yeah, I'll, I resist both of uh, Rotom Wash's stabs. I can trap the Ferrothorn. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Magnazone was a very good choice. All right. And at first it is a Ferrothorn, which I don't have anything um, I don't have anything sashed on my team, so I really don't care. Now, if my opponent has the camera up, they're gonna switch it in now, because they know the Will-O-Wisp is coming. I I'm still I'm still just gonna Willow. Okay, they stay in, I get the Will-O-Wisp off. Yeah, because... Ah, T-Wave. Okay, okay, cool. Alright, so... Alright, so getting the Will-O-Wisp off on the Ferrothorn is... Uh, that's pretty good for me. Alright, I think I want to switch into Magnezone, try to trap this thing in. Because I'm sure uh, my opponent still wants to do things. Might switch out in the camera up, but in which case I just double switch in the star me because it can't really it can't really do anything to me. Well, mm, it can. It definitely can. Uh, if it's camera up, I think I would. Eh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't think my opponent's switching it out. And besides, I switch out first and uh, hopefully magnet pull. Does work, um, does work right now. All right, Stealth Rock. Excellent. Excellent. All right, you're trapped, Ferrothorn. You're dead. You are dead. I, I don't think my opponent brought the camera up, so that's good for me. All right, so I will just take you out at my leisure. My opponent's trying to switch out right now. Nope, you can't. No, no, you, you gotta take it. You gotta take it to the face. And bop, you're dead. Now, you see, I, yeah, I'm serious now. I'm serious today. I, I brought the Dex shirt, the Dex Battle Institute shirt. Yeah, actually, I really like the shirt. Even though it has, like, all Smogon approved Pokemon. But, hey, they're, they're, they're still good pokes. Still excellent pokes. Uh, my opponent's taking a long time, so I don't think they brought the camera up. No, they brought the Salamence. 
Ah, that's not bad. Um, okay, Starmie's, yes, Starmie's base speed is faster than Salamence's. If my opponent Dragon Dances, I'm still going to outspeed with Starmie because I have the choice Scarf. Because both Dragon Dance and Choice Scarf give a uh, give a boost of 1.5, so doing the math, I'm still going to be faster. And I'm sure my opponent is going to Dragon Dance. Yeah, please say you do. Please. Please. I mean, you'll pro play me if you don't. There we go. You're dead. You're dead, son. Ice beam. <laughs> I still have all three of my boats left. Now, unless uh, you know my opponent's last poke is incredibly threatening, everything should be good. Okay, so we got the Sylveon, which yeah, yeah, I just bring Magnazone in. Simple as that. Um. Though, I don't want to risk uh, getting too much damage on it. Yeah, I just want to get... So, yeah, I want to damage Sylveon to start out with. Let's see, I might want to switch in the Trevenant and then get uh, some stab damage off on Sylveon. Then, then again, it could Calm Mind. It could indeed Calm Mind. Could also be a Choice Specs uh, Pixelate Hyper Voice variant. Regardless, I think my best move is to switch out in the Trevenant. If my opponent calm minds, then I'm gonna set up a Leech Seed and stall for days. And if not, Trevenant gets bopped. That's okay. Then I come in with Starmie. Um, you know, gets. Yep, yeah, calm mind. Alright, I switch in with Starmie. Get some hydro pumps off. And then Magnazone and uh, Flash Cannon. Choice Specs Flash Cannon. That should that should do a pretty good amount. Alright, so yeah, I want to set up the Leech Seed. Okay, you're getting greedy. Of course, I could get paralyzed here. That is a very real possibility. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, I should be good to go then. Alright, so actually, it's going to be to my advantage to side shock with Starmie. Okay, so you're being Leech Seed drained, and uh, you're going to be um, burned. Right, you're, you're getting greedy, dude. You're getting so greedy. You need to attack me. Alright, yeah, now I'm gonna stall for days. I love, I love Shiny Trevenant. Now, this is my legit Shiny Trevenant. I bred it myself. And, oh my goodness, it took so long to do. Because here's the thing. I got, I actually got two, two Shiny Trevenants uh, before this one. Both of which had Natural Cure. Now, Natural Cure Trevenant is actually a... Natural Cure Trevenant can be usable, and I did keep one of them, I traded the other, then I completed the Pokedex and I got this Trevenant. It sleeps. Horn Leech. Okay, the game is real. Sleep talk. I still survive. Oh, of course. Of course.
Okay, okay. Um, if things get too long, don't worry. I'll ju I'm just gonna skip ahead. Alright, but we'll see here. Now, I did PP max my Trevenant. So... I PP maxed it. So, yep. Yep. Alright, don't worry, don't worry, I'm skipping ahead, so... Whoop! I seem we gotta wake up now, so I'm gonna little wisp. Okay, here we go. So, uh, yeah, Trevenant was taken out, Sylveon woke up, um, played the hyper voice correctly. So, yeah, that, that was the thing. That was the thing. Alright, so what I want to do is, um, I do want to lure my opponent into attacking me, taking the Starmie out. And I'm gonna side shot and get a good amount of damage off, and then hopefully, hopefully, Magnezone can come in, the Choice Specs Flash Cannon should seal the deal. If not, then, well, I, I, I can't argue that my opponent used Sylveon perfectly. Alright, here's Psyshock. Alright, it does like... Citrus! Seriously! After three calm minds, I don't think I can do it now. I, I don't think I can do it. Let's see. Rest, sleep, talk, calm mind, hyper voice. I resist your stab. Okay, cool. Cool. Flash cannon. You never underestimate Stolly Pokemon. Never do it. Wait, oh, oh no, 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 no. This Sylveon's gonna be faster, isn't it? Okay, thank goodness I'm faster. Come on, crit, crit. <laughs> wait, wait, I'll be able to survive that. Elite C damage. <sighs> okay. Okay. Good. I won. I won. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was an. Great, that's a crit too! Just in case. Just in case. Okay, that was an amazing match. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, okay, so let's see. We had um, we had one lost, one win that I probably should have lost, but my my opponent was over predicting. Uh, we were both making bad plays, so you know, th th fair enough. And then one, and then one match which I had the advantage. My opponent um used used Sylveon very well, but luckily, luckily I was thinking of how to counter it. So, whew, okay. So hey, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this. And hey, um, if you like this video, the logical thing to do is to press that like button. It also really, really helped me out. You know, likes, you know, what will help my channel grow. And you know, I really, uh, you know, I want to get up there. I want to get up there. That'd be very nice. You can also help me out by sharing this video with other people if you think that they will like it. Um, yes, and then they will share it. And yes, share, 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 share. Sharing is caring. And finally, you can subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links which are in the description below to stay updated on my content. And you know what? Finally, finally, if you have any suggestions uh, for like a uh, Pokemon I can use in my next Battle Spot episode, other strategies I could use, you know, better ways to use my Pokemon, please leave it in the comments below. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a fledging battler. I know, I know Pokemon, but you know, I still need to master it. And I would really, really like to hear your input. 
I guess so again, thank you very much for watching, my fair beautiful citizens, and this has been President Votelli signing off. Wow, that was a random change in tone, sorry about that. Signing off!